Well, hello everyone. It is Gerda Muller here, of course, from Private Practice Success. I hope you're having a super amazing day. Yes, I'm here in Brisbane, uh, my hometown here in Australia, of course. And for the first time, it actually feels like we're getting stuck into winter. Um, but uh, that's all good. So let me refresh my Facebook page here because I do want to make sure that the guys in my Facebook groups can also access this very, very exciting news and announcement. A lot of them. Hey, Monique, you quick off the mark. Welcome. I'm just going to share this into our groups because I know a lot of my PPS community members are actually in session now because most of you of course are either psychs, OTs or speech pathologists or dietitians um, or other type of allied health professionals. So let me just share that. Okay, that one's done. Um, so that was for practice owners. I'm just going to share it also in our masterclass graduate group. There we go. And that will also give us some time if there's anybody else that want to jump on. Um, we'll also share this in our marketing group for my guys that's doing the online marketing program that starts early August. Um, and who did we miss? Oh, our next level mastermind. Let's pop it in there as well. Next level. And how about we also share this in our how to start a private practice group then I haven't missed anybody because this is very exciting news and I want to make sure everybody gets to hear it um, otherwise it just gets lost in the Facebook news stream seeing that I'm live streaming from my Facebook page um, I see somebody else has also joined please say hi say hello and if this is your very first live stream. Let me know as well. Fabulous. So, some exciting news. So, first, I'm going to give you some context. And no, I'm not pregnant. Been there, done that three times. That's not the news. Okay. <laughs> it's even better. Um, so just for some context, um, if you've been following me uh, I'm on social media, you would know that in the more or less the uh, mid to end June, I ran a get it done residential retreat, which was amazing three days that I got to spend uh, with practice owners that came from Tasmania, believe it or not, Tasmania, Melbourne, um, Sydney, and the Gold Coast and Brisbane. Um, it was just really an awesome uh, couple of days that I spent with them. And one of the things that I did with them during those three days was I shared with them the need for and the importance of vlogging. Okay, so what is vlogging? That is doing video. Um, old school term would be, I guess, blogging, where you would write out and a post that you would put on your website or on your social media page. And of course, you can still do that. But more and more with advances in technology, we are doing vlogs. So a vlog, so a video log instead of a written blog. Now, of course, if you have been following me on social media, you would know that at the end of June, I completed a full 90 days of consecutive vlogging live here on my Facebook page. And I must say, I'm very proud of the fact that I did it. Can you believe 90 days and not even one day that I get so sick or whatever that or too busy or too distracted that I couldn't do it. I'm very, very proud of that feat, even if I say so myself. And it, it was just such a learning curve for me doing that for 90 consecutive days. And because I, I when, when I had this retreat, it was like the tail end of my 90 day vlog challenge. So I couldn't help myself. By that time, I was like more than in love with vlogging. I had already seen the benefits that vlogging had for my um, business as a private practice success coach and mentor. And therefore, I just felt compared, compelled to share it with the guys that was there on the Get It Done retreat. 
and you know they were such an amazing group they immediately went out <laughs> It was literally, I think it was a Saturday. They immediately went out. Each one of them found a lovely little spot on the grounds of, of the place where we had the retreat here in Mount Cotton in Brisbane. And they did their very first vlogs. Amazing. And some of them did more vlogs on the Sunday before they went home. And one person even did it at the airport on the way home. And they have been blogging on their Facebook pages ever since. They are just the amazing group of, of practice owners. Uh, they've got a, a, a Facebook messenger chat that I actually set up before the um, weekend started, um, the, the retreat started, so that they could get to know one another. And I follow the conversation in there, I follow their Facebook pages, and they're just blogging the hell out of it. And they're getting awesome results. Because the thing is that vlogging really, really works. And it has worked for me, it works for all of these guys, and, and they are actually loving it. I must say there was one or two people um, in the group that were a bit tentative, you know, like we all are when we have to step outside of our comfort zone because we are our own worst critics. And when we watch ourselves on video, um, you know, you're so good at pulling yourself apart, the way you look, the way you talk, your hand movements, you know, all that type of stuff. But still they did it and they're doing amazingly well and I'm so, so proud of them. And that coupled with my own experience of having done the 90 day vlog and having seen the results that has had for me. And like I said, in my business here, uh, my practice principal is also currently doing vlogs every day of the week, Monday to Friday as part of her challenge. I just thought, you know, the, the automatic, not automatic is not the right word, but the, the next step really in the evolution of my vlogging journey if i want to put it in that way is to share with my private practice success community how to do it and how to do it in a time and money effective manner but really also supporting my private practice success community and that's you who i'm talking to to step outside of your comfort zone and actually get it done all right because i know it's scary um, but you know, the results is just amazing what you can achieve with it and nothing worth its salt is ever easy. I'm not sure if you've got that saying in, in Australia as well. I know we have that where I come from. So I am so, so pleased to announce that I am going to be running a 15 days to vlogging course. So it's my vlogging made easy course that will run over 15 days. So why should you even be remotely interested in doing a course of vlogging? I'm sure it looks pretty scared looking from the outside in. Well, I'll give you two, uh, no, I'll give you three reasons, not two, I'll give you three reasons. Hey Janelle, nice to see you again. Um, I'll give you three reasons. And there's actually way more than three, but for time purposes, I'm gonna give you three. First of all, vlogging builds trust, okay? Your community, your clients need to um, learn to know you, really, because if you think about it, they don't know you from a bar of, so uh, of soap, all right? Even when a GP does a referral, uh, what do you think do clients do the moment they get that referral? Well, if it was me, I would Google this person to see who is this person that I'm gonna go and meet. Who is this person that I'm going to go and spoil my guts to or take my kids to see? And if you've got a vlog out there or some videos out there, um, it's really going to help build trust between you and that client even before they work, walk through the doors. So it's probably the easiest, most time and money efficient way to build trust with your clients and especially your potential clients and also your current and potential referral sources. Um, those guys that's here, I see we've got five people live. Welcome everyone, please let me know that you're here. If you've got any questions or comments, please uh, pop it in the comment box and I will answer those for you. So that's the first reason, easiest way to build trust. Monique says, no like and trust. That's correct, Monique. Any internet marketer will tell you that that is the way to go these days. 
The second reason, vlogging is the perfect bridge between um, your website um, and you, if you think about it. So let's say if I'm a client, I get a referral, I need to go and see you. First thing I do, nine out of 10 people are gonna do it, they're gonna Google you and they're gonna land on your website, hopefully if you've got good search engine optimization and they're gonna have a read around that type of stuff. But we all know that that is a bit of um, a dead um, content, um, you know, in terms it's written, I can look at a photo, you know, there's some psychology practices out there that when I look at their website, they still don't even have a photo on there. You need to make sure that you've got a photo on of your team members. I would even put a photo up um, under team for your admin team members because they're part of the team because people again get to feel trust with that person because there's that familiarity, is that how you say it, uh, that builds up when they get to see you. Okay, so when they walk into reception, uh, they're familiar with the face sitting behind the front desk. Or maybe they're sitting in the waiting room, the psychologist walks in and they're familiar with that face. And that helps to reduce that anxiety. And we all know that we can go out and hire somebody to write our content that goes on my website. You know, everybody knows that. It doesn't mean the psychologist wrote that themselves. But when you are on video, it's you, okay? Yes, maybe you can put on a mask if you try really hard, but the essence of you is still gonna come through. Yes, you can try and be very professional, but the essence of you, your, your facial expressions, your hands, the way you dress, just who you are is still gonna come through. And it makes you human, and it's that, that great bridge between just the stuff that you would find on a traditional website to you as the person. And again, it helps to build that trust. And third is that I have seen this happen in practice. So um, you may or may not know, I, I've, I've actually saw a lot of you guys at the recent conferences where I was at as an exhibitor. So I recently, um, for the first time ever, was an exhibitor at the APS Clinical College Conference and just a week later, I was an exhibitor at the APS um, College of Educational and Developmental Psychologists and Sports Psychology. And I can't tell you the number of people that came up to me at my exhibition booth to introduce themselves and to say that they've been loving my vlogs, they feel like they know me and they've got so much from it. And you know what? Immediately when they say that, uh, it just breaks the ice. It's, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a friend coming in to talk to you. And I think a lot of the times people have probably felt, and I assume this, I haven't asked it, but I assume people feel more comfortable actually walking up to me and going hey Gerda my name is Mary I've been watching your vlogs I really loved it it's a conversation starter it makes it easy and again it just starts that engagement process and I've absolutely been loving it hey Tanya thanks for joining hey Rachel thanks for joining good to see you guys on here so those are my three reasons that I will give you for today, but there's a lot more in terms of why vlogging is so important. I think especially for us as allied health professionals, there might be some barriers that there is in terms of getting started. And the majority of those barriers are right up in here in our heads. It's those mental blocks that we have as uh, professional allied health providers around why we can or can't do vlogging and I'm going to be very straight and when I say that the biggest barrier is probably you yes okay and again I'm going to be very straight when I say that you need to get over yourself in order for you to get out there and help more people okay you need to be able to step outside of your comfort zone so that you can reach more people and therefore help more people. It's really it's about getting over that fear. Now, I know all about fear. I know all about stepping outside of my comfort zone. 
um, been there, done that, like most things in the allied health business. You know, the first time that I ran my private practice success one day workshop, I clearly remember it. I was um, on the Gold Coast. I ran it there, beautiful location. It was a venue that was, I can't remember the actual suburb, but it was located on a golf course, beautiful venue. I only had, I think it was around about six people attending. Okay, so I didn't have a big room. It was around a boardroom table. So there were six people there and I did my thing. And then I drove back and I was so drained afterwards that I had to stop at my Logan Home practice. So I was at the Gold Coast, drove straight down, Logan Home practice just off the highway. I just stopped in the parking area and I closed my eyes and I fell asleep for 15 minutes. It's a bit embarrassing to admit, but that's what happened because it was so, so such unfamiliar territory for me. But, but I had a vision and my vision was to help private practice owners, you know, establish um, ultimate private practices that can help more people in better ways whilst also looking after them as the practice owner. So they're not the one that works 24 hour, hour days, seven days a week, you know, 365 days a year, but they can also have the life that they deserve and their families deserve while creating that for their team, for their CRT team, their, like their admin team, but most importantly also for their clients. Okay, that is my vision because I knew what it was and I know my purpose and I was driven. I stood up, I, I stood up in front of six people and I think sometimes having a smaller group is actually harder than a larger group. I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, that's just how I experienced it, but I did it. And that was the start and I wouldn't be where I was today if I wasn't willing to step outside of my comfort zone. And I really want to encourage you when it comes to vlogging, um, you will get the results, but you need to be willing to take that first step. So just some of the results that we've seen as a result of using vlogging and that a lot of my um, clients tell me, the people at the Get It Done Retreat, uh, people in my other groups, um, programs that has done vlogging. Uh, first of all, it reduces your no-show rates at session one. Okay, that's a no-brainer. Why? Because it's really anxiety-provoking going to see a psychologist for the very first time and other types of allied health professionals for that matter. So if you can have a video on there, on your website, on your YouTube channel, on your Facebook page, where people can see what you look like, that you don't have two heads, that you actually, um, you know, pr you sound pretty nice when you talk and all of that type of things, they're more likely to walk through the doors. Okay, maybe you can do a vlog on, come and have a look at what the practice looks like. Let me take you on a tour. Again, it creates more familiarity. And we know, especially when people are anxious, um, you know, they're scared because it's that uncertainty um, and they know, don't know what to expect. And you can show them exactly what to expect. And the best of all, it allows you to lift that veil about what happens at a psychology practice. What does it look like? Who's the people that's there? And by doing that, you're reducing the stigma around mental health. How could you not do that? And that's why I love vlogging so much. I've probably done like three or four blogs, uh, blogs about come and have a look at the practice and see what it looks like. Because I always go, you know, that other vlog is down there somewhere on the newsfeed. I need to do another one because it's so amazing. And of course, you can even put something like that on your, on, on your website. Isn't that great? So first of all, it decreases no-show rates for session number one. And secondly, it also decreases dropout rates between session two and three. Why? Because the chances of being a good fit between clients and psychologists increases as a result of the vlog. Why? Because once you've put yourself out there and you were as authentically yourself as possible, you know, if you look at me here on the vlog, what you see is what you get. I actually had, and you might be listening, I don't know, but I had a client tell me the other day that, and it is a long-standing client, that she actually went to look at my vlogs um, just to see if I'm the same in the vlog that I am in here in the session. 
And I said, and, and what did you find? And she said, no, you are the same. And I think that's so, so important. Um, if you pitch up on your vlogs, on here, on your live stream, on any professional videos that you do as your authentic self, um, you know, it's just gonna go so much towards ensuring that the client goes, yes, I can talk to that person. So the client's already mentally in their mind going, this is gonna be a good fit. Yes, maybe when they come in, uh, they, it's still not a good fit, but I can tell you it like doubles the chances of there being a good fit, which means that the client's not wasting their time and money trying out to seeing the psychologist, but they know already it's a good fit. It also means they have a good experience with us. They have a good experience with the mental health industry, and that is always a big, big plus. Okay. Let me just see if there is any comments on here. As you can see, I get very excited about this, but it's just because it's so easy to do um, once you know how, of course, and uh, once you get over that fear and you step outside of your comfort zone and the results and the outcomes that we can get as a result of this is just amazing. Um, okay, and then another really awesome result is that if you take your vlogs that you're doing, let's say like this um, vlog that I'm doing now live on Facebook, I can download it, I can upload it to YouTube, and I can then upload it onto my website if I wanted to. Now, what happens is that people are more likely to um, look at videos than to read stuff, okay? I know definitely for myself um, but that's just the growing trend and when you've got a two-minute video on your website and it's really engaging and it's authentic and people listen to the whole two minutes guess what it increases your google rank rankings because youtube of course is owned by google so what you do is you upload your vlog into youtube and you embed that youtube video on your website if somebody spends more than 60 seconds on your website by watching one of your videos you will increase your google rankings i mean there you just win around every corner and and it's not hard it's really easy to do and i want to make it even easier than that and i want to help you do that so if you know that you want to take that next step into the area of blogging or maybe you're thinking i don't really want to but I know that is what I need to do if I want to grow my practice, expand my practice, and if I want to contribute to, you know, uh, decreasing the stigma around mental health, if that's something that you're really uh, positive and excited and passionate about, then consider doing the 15 days uh, vlogging course. It's going to be really, really exciting. I'm not going to take you through what's involved over here. What I will do is put a link uh, to my website that sets it all out, what's involved, all that type of stuff. So please do have a look in there. Now, because I know that is really hard to step outside of your comfort zone. What I'm going to do is give you an incentive to enroll in this course. So by the way, the course kicks off on um, the last Monday in July, which I think is like the 31st of July. It's on a Monday. So you have some time to get your head around this thing that you are committing to doing. Um, okay, and what we'll do, we'll have a specific closed Facebook group so that you can start mingling with everybody else that's in there and get your head and mindset ready for doing this thing. Um, it's going to be really, really exciting. And um, what was I saying? Okay. Oh, yes. I was saying that because I know that it is hard stepping outside of your comfort zone, I'm going to give you a little incentive. So the first 10 people to enroll will get a free copy of my ebook called expanding your private practice on a shoestring budget so that ebook is normally for sale on my gertamala.com.au website under the resources section i don't know off the top of my head what the value of it is i think it's like $67 potentially, I'll have to go and check that out, but I'm giving that to the first 10 people that enrolls for free, okay? So be quick, be fast, and um, I look forward to seeing you uh, in the Vlogging Made Easy 
course, if you've got any questions, please feel free to just pop it here in the comment section. Otherwise, immediately go and hop onto the website. All the information, all the details is in there. It has a link to where you can enroll as well so you can get your uh, free ebook. And I look forward to sharing my knowledge, my skills and experience and my passion for vlogging in that course with you. Thank you so much for everybody that's joined me live and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. And as always, remember all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level five private practice. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.